Hey shouters, how are you? And this is huge, especially for anyone who is using AdSense or planning to use AdSense. You are going to love this. So AdSense has made an announcement and they have introduced Google Auto Ads. Now this is something they have been testing internally from 2017 and now it's available for everyone. So what exactly is AdSense Auto Ads? Let's understand everything about auto ads, how you can integrate it on your blog. I will show you how the integration works and everything that you need to know. The first thing, auto ads basically uses the artificial intelligence to place ads on your blog. So we already know that, you know, on, with AdSense earlier, we need to place ads on certain places of our blog and then, you know, it just automatically shows the ads. Now AdSense auto ads has taken the same thing to the next level. So now all we need to do is add a few line of codes on all pages of our blog. Now AdSense artificial intelligence will automatically take care of the number of ad to be shown on the page, ad placement and ad optimization. So practically you don't have to do anything after this. All you need to do is focus on writing content and Google will take care of all the ad optimization. Now in the past you might have used some services like Ezoic or ad push up or anything else. Now you can remove all, all of them and you can start using AdSense auto ads which is basically uh, using artificial intelligence. Now there are a few things that you need to know. So if you're using page level ads then you don't need to do anything. By default Google AdSense will take care of auto ads. Uh, it basically uses the same code as page level ads. If you already have few ads running on your blog you don't need to worry about that because auto ads will scan your page for existing ads which is from the Google AdSense and then it will decide how many ads to be placed or what the placement should be. Now uh, if you like you can actually remove the old ads and just let Google auto ads do everything. There are a few things that you need to know. Let's say if you have a blog post which is 2500 words you may expect a lot of ads to be shown. So one, one of the users from our forum has mentioned that he is seeing about seven ads on the same blog post. So that's little too much but again you can configure a lot of settings so without further delay let's go ahead and learn how you can set up Google Auto Ads. So log into your Google AdSense account, click on my ads and here you will see the option called Auto Ads. Click on that and now you can click on get started. Right. So this is the global settings. Now here you can enable or disable the kind of ads you want to be shown on your blog. So let's say you don't want to show in feed ads, you can keep it disabled. You want to show text and display ads, just enable it. Now in this case, I want to show every kind of ad. I want to try out how it works and let's enable match content as well. Already selected and also select automatically get new format so that you don't have to log into your AdSense account when they launch a new format. Click on save. Alright, so here is the ad that you need to place on your blog, like on all the pages. If you're using WordPress, you can use any plugin which adds code between head portion of your uh, website, of your theme. Same, same with the blogspot, you can go to the edit template and place the ad. I believe you already know this. However, now the one thing which I particularly use, I use Google Tag Manager to manage my ads and something I would recommend everyone to, you know, if you want to place Google Analytics script, uh, Apple Affiliate Program script, Facebook Pixel, use Google Tag Manager. You can find a tutorial for the same on Shout Me Loud. It's very easy to integrate and after that your tag management will become easier. So here is the new page level ad unit. So now let me just quickly replace, I think it should be the same ad, but anyways, let's, let's just replace it. Uh, let's see if it's the same ad or different. All right, so you can see it's the same ad. Just uh, let's change it to, change the name, auto ads, and click on save. Now I'm testing this on one of the blog, which is, uh, which we don't update often, however, it's a blog that was created by one of my author who has been an integral part of Shout Me Loud in the back in the days. So we're still maintaining the blog and let's publish and create version. So basically what I'm doing right now, I'm just publishing this new ad code on my blog. And here's the blog on which we are placing the ad. All right, so once your ad codes are published or live, 
After that, you need to wait and Google will take care of the ad placement. Now to test this, I have to wait. And there is another thing which is very important is called advanced URL settings. So let's say on particular category or section of your pay of your website, you don't want particular ad to be shown. For example, your pagination pa page, domain.com slash page one, domain.com slash page two. So you can add a new URL group here. And let me show you how to do that. So let's say I want to, I don't want to show a particular ad on this page types, page one, page two, page three. So let's say I added this particular page type. Okay, and let's select this, click on next. And here I can decide which ads to be shown and which ad we should not show. So let's remove text and display ads, in feed ads and in, artic in article ads is not required. Mm -hmm. So rest is cool. So give it a meaningful name so that you can remember later on and that's it. Now there are a few help guide from Google team. You can also uh, read them to understand how this all this function work. However, in, to sum it up, this Google ad, auto ads is certainly going to change the way we use AdSense. And this is one of the biggest innovation from AdSense team in recent days especially for the new bloggers who don't want to get into the mumble jumble of ad optimization, auto ads will take care of everything. Now I definitely need to go back and edit all the blog posts of Shout Me Loud to show these new changes. But for now, I hope this video helped you to understand everything about Google auto ads. I've also added links in the description where you can go ahead and read more about Google auto ads. And do let me know if you have any other follow up question regarding Google auto ads or Google AdSense in general. I would love to answer that. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. This is Harsh.